Hi guys. So I just wanted to make a video real quickly. I asked a question on um, Instagram about if you guys would rather have a video of my post-show feels or a workout. And it was literally like 51, 49%. So I'm gonna do both. So mistake number one after show, binge eating. Do not binge eat. I went through, I did two shows. My first show after I was done, I did what uh, was a mistake and I learned from, but I was binge eating after the show just because I was restricted from so much food. And when I was able, or nobody was telling me, you know, you can't have that, um, I kind of just ate it, whether I craved it or not. So I was eating burgers, pizza. I had a lot of ice cream, but it was um, Haagen Dazs. It was not like the Halo Topper Enlightened that most people eat because it's like. You can eat the whole pint for like 360 calories, but Haagen Dazs is like 600, I think 650 for like a pint, and I would eat like two a week. And um, at one point, I think a month or so after my show, I was not working out or doing cardio. I was pretty much studying for my boards, and it was really stressing me out. So I'm pretty sure that's where a lot of my weight came from. But I think on stage at my at the Phil Heath, I was 108 pounds. And you normally gain 10 to 15 pounds back, depending on how depleted you were, from what I've read. Um, and I gained, I was 124, so I don't know, what is it, 16 pounds? No, 26, 16 pounds? Yeah, 16 pounds. So I was 16 pounds over, so I was 124, which is heavy for me. Um, I'm 5'2", I have a very small frame, so normally my normal is like 115 to 118. That's normally like if I eat, you know, not restricting myself from anything, just on like a normal schedule, like I'm usually 115 to 118. Um, now, I don't want everyone to get carried away about the number because muscle weighs more than fat. So you could look completely different weighing 115 and being 5'2 versus another person with my same exact height and my same exact weight because people carry it differently, people have different um, different amount of muscle, so it just depends on you and I know that my normal at this time is around that range. So I made the mistake of just overeating and when I was sitting for my boards I was eating like water burger, like fast food, which I never do, like twice, I was only eating twice a day and I was not drinking any water, I was drinking a lot of coffee, so I really messed up in that sense just because I um, I didn't follow my coach's recommendation to reverse diet, which is pretty much bringing carbs slowly back into your diet, and I stopped working out, stopped doing cardio. So I told myself I'd never make that mistake again, so this time I did eat a little bit well, I'm not gonna lie. I ate after my show on Saturday, I had a whole medium pizza from BJ's and I had a Pazuki, it's so good. And then the next day I went and got burgers, me and Marlon got sushi, but I think for two or three days I was eating crazy, like, oh, let's go get this, let's go get this, I miss eating this. And that's fine, but then you kind of have to get back on track. So at this point, I'm so used to eating prep food, and it's not bad. Like, it's good food. Like, right now, I'm about to eat some. Um, I can actually show y'all. It's ground turkey, rice, and broccoli. Let me show y'all. Um, you just have to take control and understand what you're doing. Don't just sit there and binge eat all this food because you can, because you're going to tell yourself, oh, just for a couple days, and then... Oh, just for a week or so and then turns into a month and then it turns into two months and then by the next thing you know you're not on your cardio you're not on your lifting you just don't care you're just eating 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 mistake number two you do not reverse diet you need to reverse diet um, you are on low calories low carbs so you slowly have to add carbs back in okay this is my turkey steam. Let me show y'all. This is oh, ground turkey and I put taco seasoning on it with I think half a cup of rice and some broccoli. And I like my broccoli, sorry, sorry. I like my broccoli raw and then I microwave it. I don't like steaming it, I don't like boiling it. I don't like doing any of that because I feel like it gets too soft and I like my broccoli crunchy and this is like 
the perfect amount of crunchiness that I like. I literally just put it in the microwave for two minutes and it's like not too crunchy but not too soft. It's just like al dente. I learned that from Chopped. Anyway, so this is what I eat. This is one of my meals. Um, and I pretty much try to stay on this and I get the same things from the grocery store but if y'all really want to see it, you can. Um, just let me know in the comments below and if it's like requested enough then I will do a video for you of what I eat in a day. But when I'm in prep, it's very, very strict. When I'm not in prep, it's not as strict. So if I'm craving chocolate, I will get a chocolate bar and I will eat it. No big deal. I still work out, I still do my cardio. Um, I don't want to get back to 125 pounds like what I was before because it did not look like a good weight on me. Um, I just knew that at that point I was not happy with myself and happy with my body just because it just didn't look good on me. And if you guys want to see a picture, I will show you a picture in here if you want. It just, um, that wasn't my normal. This is my normal. I'm 115. I can show y'all. Okay, so this is me now. Um... I'm still holding on to a little bit of water weight, but as you can see, I'm not that lean as I was when I was in prep. My abs were like sticking out, my obliques were like sticking out. Like if you can see, like the line is there. I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm, I, my abs are like, you know, like no big deal. I love my body. I love the way it looks. I work hard for it, so I'm not um, worried about it because. If I want to get leaner, I know how to do that. If I want to bulk up, I know how to do that. I have coaches that can help me. Um, nutrition is like the biggest thing of it. But also, mistake number three, sorry, three, um, do not be so hard on yourself. After you get out of prep, you're so used to seeing yourself physically a certain way and you just want to look that way forever and it just it's not sustainable so just understand that you're doing this for a show you're doing it for a very short course amount of time you're not supposed to stay there you're not supposed to maintain that physique and that diet um i wanted to look what I looked like two weeks out before my show, like all the time. And that honestly is not sustainable. It's not healthy, but it really is a mental game. And you just have to know that, you know, you worked hard to get there, you can do it again. Like, I don't want anyone to be discouraged or have body dysmorphic dysmorphia issues from doing a prep. Uh, of course, like you love what you look like. I was wearing crop tops, I was, you know, wearing stuff that I normally wouldn't wear. I was confident, but you can be confident in your own skin no matter what you look like. Even right now, I was on stage um, this last time at 101 pounds, which was smaller than the Phil Heath, and I'm now, I jumped back up to 115 like within three days. Like your body does not define you, your body does not make you who you are. When you're in prep, it's a lot different than if you're just healthy lifestyle eating. So if you're healthy lifestyle eating, just make better choices, that's all. Oh, if you guys want my sweet potato fry recipe, it's really not, you can Google it, but it's so good. I do not like sweet potatoes. I do not like sweet potato pie. I do not like sweet potato mashed potatoes with the marshmallow. I do not like baked sweet potato, but I do love sweet potato fries. So I will make that for y'all in another video. You guys want me to do a full day of eating? I've gotten some requests of like what do you eat, how do you make it and stuff like that. But honestly, the food I eat is not very interesting only because I do not do if it fits your macros. I have macros, but I don't get food to fit it. So when I eat, I eat lean, clean foods. And if it fits your macros, you pretty much, I mean, you could eat whatever you want, but most of the time people are just eating healthy foods that they could fit in their diet so like I in prep am not allowed to have fruit I cannot have chocolate I cannot have protein powder things like that so I know a lot of people make like protein um, pancakes protein brownies um, I know one girl who makes pro like a a kai bowl or something but she uses her protein powder stuff like that i don't do one because my coaches are very strict in what they want me to eat and two because my schedule is so busy that i don't have time to sit here and calculate 
Um, how many strawberries can I have? How many of this can I have? How many of this can I have? If you want to do that, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just in my lifestyle, I'm more of like, cook for the day, cook all my chicken I need, and if I get carbs that day, or if I get veggies that day, or whatever I can have that day, I kind of just add it in. So it's really easy for me to make. It does not take me long. And I can show y'all my friends and who I hang out with. Because you need to surround yourself with people who are doing what you're doing, who push you. You know what? Actually, I'm going to tell you all this. When I, work, when I do cardio in the morning, a lot of times I will turn on the motivational YouTube videos where they just talk and people are like running and like listening to music and like you see them in the boxing ring and they're just motivational talk behind. And there was one and this guy was talking about... Um, how you should surround yourself with people who want to make you better. If you want to be on a team where you're the best on the team, you're not really growing. You have to be put in a situation where, let's say you're in track and everyone is faster than you, but you want to better yourself so you continue to run with them, you continue to learn from them. And maybe you might not be the fastest one, but you're becoming faster, you're becoming stronger, you're becoming mentally more prepared, you're becoming everything better. But if you're surrounding yourself with people who are not trying to push you, are not trying to grow you, and you're just, oh, I won, I won, or oh, I'm the best, I'm the best, you're not really growing. But if that's the kind of gratification that you want, then go for it. But I'm not for it, I'm for growth. And if you guys see my posts and stuff, you know I'm for growth. Um, doesn't matter where you're coming from, as long as you're getting a little bit better each day, physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever it is, that is growth to me. Thank you guys.